which you guys is windows defender good enough to protect your pc in 2021 i get asked quite a bit about windows defender and what uh, antivirus i recommend and what i use so that's what we're going to be talking about in this video now windows defender comes as standard uh, with windows 10 so it's free to use and it's built into windows but is it any good and can you get by with just the built-in windows protection or should you opt for a free or even paid software like bitdefender kaspersky or norton lifelock or something like that so you can see here this is a uh, windows defender or windows security as it's known now i've got this as it's all supposed to be set up and trying to protect the system the best I can with these settings. Now it's pretty limited in here. I'll enable some of these features and also enable the ransomware. It does come with smart screen and other things like potentially unwanted programs. It tries to block those as well. And it does come with some basic uh, ransomware protection uh, built into the software as well as you can see here down at the very bottom here. So all in all, it does have some sort of protection uh, for control folder access and things like that to try and protect that data. Now, smart screen is pretty effective at blocking malware that tries to start running on your computer, but this is only effective when the computer has an internet connection. Now I've tested ransomware with uh, the Windows security or Windows Defender before, and it's let ransomware onto the system. So that's what we're going to be doing today and taking a look at some ransomware. Now these are uh, some ransomwares that I've picked up and I just wanted to test them on this latest release of Windows 10. And I've done a fresh install here and I'm just going to test it with a, a few ransomware that I've picked up here. Now, why do I use ransomware for this test and not just a big load of new fresh malware samples? And the reason why is I think uh, ransomware is probably some of the worst types of infections that you can get on a computer because it encrypts all of your data and if you don't have backups uh, then all of your data is going to be encrypted and you're going to be held to ransom to pay a fee to try and encrypt that data and get your files back there's no guarantee that you're going to get your data back and of course you're being held to ransom by a bunch of criminals who are basically holding your data to ransom because they have the decryption key so you can get your data back. Now there's been plenty of good comparison sites that have said that Windows Defend or Windows Security is a pretty good uh, solution for protection against malware, ransomware, and other types of files that they've tested it on. And yeah, that is the case, but every test that I've done, it always falls foul to ransomware and it literally encrypts all of your data. So that is why I chose to test it with ransomware today. Now, there's solutions out there which you can use to protect your data from ransomware, and there's plenty of them available out there for free as well as paid versions, depending on what uh, suits your pocket. Now, as you can see here, I'm just running a few files here, and we'll just test. There's already something going on I can see uh, with the way the computer's reacting. It's not letting me uh, do certain things here. Now, remember, no uh, security software will give you 100% protection. You just need to use a bit of savvy because most of the time it's always down to the user that either uh, it clicks on something or agrees to install something which literally uh, causes problems like you can see here. So it has uh, encrypt these files here. You can see they have been encrypted and that was with just one of them files there. It might have stopped some of it, but it has literally encrypted all of the data here on this system which is never a good thing now we might be able to roll this back uh, when we restart the system but again you really shouldn't be put into this position in the first place you don't really want to be facing something like this with your data especially all of the files of your wedding or your birthdays your, your holidays and stuff like that and if you don't have backups of them then you're going to be pretty sad when you see something like this happen when encryption has started to encrypt all of the files on of your system. These could be documents, photos, or any other type of document uh, that that ransomware will encrypt. You can see here, I'm just gonna do another test here uh, with uh, another 
piece of ransomware and we'll test that and see what happens. So what is the very best antivirus program out there? Now you're going to get some people will say Windows Defender with Malwarebytes or Windows Defender on its own or free antivirus software, whatever one you want to choose or a paid solution is the best option. And then you're going to get other people to say the best antivirus program is yourself uh, because you're the one that's clicking on stuff. So train yourself not to do certain things and you won't get infected. You can see here ransomware has again hit the system and more than likely encrypted all the data on the computer because this is what these particular ransomwares do. So another thing that you're going to hear quite a lot of is, you know, just use Linux because that doesn't get infected or buy a Mac or I don't even use an antivirus program because I've never had a virus in eight years since I've used my computer and I've never been infected. You know, not having an antivirus is pretty dumb and you can fall foul to malware just like any other person out there. It's so easy and sometimes it can catch you unawares and next thing you know, you're going to see something like this on the screen, which is basically going to encrypt all of your data. That's why it's always best to have some form of protection instead of relying on chance and hopefully you don't get infected because sometimes we do uh, get tricked or duped and click on stuff and literally, uh, you know, you're going to get infected. So what is the best antivirus out there and what one do I use myself? So recommending antivirus software is like recommending Marmite to someone. Marmite is something you either love or you hate. And this is the same thing with antivirus software. If I said use Bitdefender, some will come back and say, oh, ESET's well better than that. It's much better. And then you'll get someone saying, oh, Kaspersky's better. But then you'll get someone saying that, oh, that's connected to Russia and they're spying. And then you'll get free versions are perfectly fine. You don't need a paid version. And the, the list goes on and on. So I use Norton 360 as of 2021 with a Cronus True Image with my ransomware back uh, protection on, on a Cronus True Image. And I'm pretty safe and uh, back up regular. So I have no problems at all. And I've also got pretty good general awareness how to use a computer properly so I don't uh, end up getting infected. But it doesn't mean that I'm not vulnerable because everyone is. And you can see here we've got another uh, ransomware that's managed to encrypt data. And this is the thing you have to remember when you're using something like this. You have to be a bit mindful what you're clicking on and you have to be a bit mindful what you're doing on your computer. So when you see uh, free stuff online and you're downloading it and you're clicking on it and unpacking it, then you're at risk. And you have to be a bit aware of that running scripts online that you don't know nothing about, trying to get pirate versions of Windows or whatever it is you're trying to do online, downloading stuff, you're going to put yourself at risk and you need to make sure that you're backing up all your data on a regular basis. So if you do get encrypted uh, with ransomware, then at least you've got all your data backed up and you can just reinstall Windows if that's the sort of person that likes to live on the edge like that. So is Windows Defender or Windows Security good enough in 2021? I would say you're better off going to a security uh, company like, say, for instance, Bitdefender, uh, ESET, Norton Security, or even uh, Kaspersky. And whether you choose to use the free versions or the paid versions, that is entirely up to you. I prefer the paid versions of uh, security software, but the choice is going to come down to you at the end of the day, whether you want to use uh, one of those uh, security suites or whether you continue to use Windows Defender. Now, with my combination of protection, which is a Cronus True Image with ransomware protection and Norton 360, this would not happen to my computer. It would be protected and my data would be safe. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. Hope this one's helped you out. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.